Well, good morning. My name is Royal. I am in my living room in Hearst, Texas to do my morning devotional for Friday. Friday, February the 3rd. It's the end of the week for you. And uh, we've been talking about integrity this week. And uh, today I want to talk about the, the way integrity removes the fears that you have. You know, yesterday we talked about the peace that comes from being forgiven and living in integrity. But today, uh, 1 John 4, 18, we're, we're talking about the fears that go away because of God's love. When you're connected with God's love, as you're living this life of integrity, uh, the fear goes away because it's based on trust. It's that ability to be able to lay back in God and know, you know, I'm going to let God take care of things. I'm going to do the things that he wants, and then and then I'm going to let him take care of everything else. I know he knows what's best and wants what's best for me. So I want to start off with the Lord's Prayer uh, to uh, get our hearts ready to hear what God would tell us each individually. Because when we read Scripture and our hearts are ready, God tells us what he wants us to know through the Spirit, through that Scripture. So, Father God... Our Father in heaven, may we keep your name holy today above every other name. Um, may we serve you above everybody else. Would you uh, forgive us for our sins and point out the sins we need to ask forgiveness for? May we forgive those who hurt us so we're better and not bitter. And Lord God, would you protect us from the negative influences and temptations that are in our life? And today we'll give you glory. No matter what, we'll give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, here we go. 1 John 4, 18. 1 John 4, 18. He's talking about the love that comes to us from God and the relationship we have from God. And John writes about love a lot. He was Jesus' best friend, he says. So 1 John 4, 18, he writes, Such love, the love of God, the love we have for God, the love we have for God because of the love he has for us. You ready? Make sure you heard that. The love we have for God, realizing the love for he has for us. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. I mean, think about, think about the people you love, your children, your spouse, your mom or dad, somebody that you would run into a fire for. Dude, the fear goes away. When you have that kind of love and that kind of intense love, the fear goes away. So such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we're afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced God's perfect love. Hmm. So if we understand and we've accepted, and, and the scripture tells us that if you believe in God and you believe in Jesus, you confess and believe that with your heart and mind and you commit to living for him, then you're changed, you're reborn at that point. And that's when you start feeling the full effect of God's love and forgiveness in your life because you're now a child of God. When you have that, the fear of being who you need to be, the fear that makes you be a hypocrite will go away and you will be a person of integrity. So that is just, that's just so important. It's understanding that love. And, and with all that, we go back and look at this week's devotionals. And I think this is a perfect ending for, for this week's topic. So here's the prayer. Here's the prayer for today. And this prayer and the scripture are in the uh, description of the video. Dear Heavenly Father, you are love. You love me and you live in me. Because of your love, I trust you. Your love blows my fear away. The more time I spend following and worshiping you, the more at peace and content I am. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus makes all that happen. His loving sacrifice for us is what makes all that happen. I hope this was encouraging. I hope this whole week was encouraging to you. I'd love to read your replies and, and uh comments and, and I'll reply. And if you live in the mid-cities area of Dallas-Fort Worth and you do not have, have a church home, 
I uh, am pastor of Life Connection Church in North Euless. We have a 9, 15, and 11 o'clock service on Sunday. I'd love to have you. I dress better than this. I take a shower before I come and teach on Sunday morning. We would love to have you. And if you want to know more about us, go to lifeconnectionchurch.org. I hope to see you Sunday or see you back here on Monday. The good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God, love people, change the world, and it starts with you. Thank you and God bless.